Hey guys, just headed down to Akihabara again today and I got myself the latest innovation in vacuum tube technology, the Korg New Tube 6P1. It's a triode uh, assembly, um, two, two sides to it in a way. You can do like a left channel and right channel for your um, headphone amps and whatnot. And it was, uh, it was developed by Korg and Noritake here in Japan. So I paid uh, 5,400 yen, I'll bring it up closer. 5,400 yen, about $55 or so. Just been released, so it's going to have a bit of a price premium on it. But these are um, now freely available in Akihabara. I just walked into the store and actually saw a flyer at the front of the store and almost squealed like a little girl when I saw it. I've been waiting for these to come out, so I went straight in and bought one. It's funny when I um, I thought there might have been a bit of a shortage, uh, like the Raspberry Pi Zeros. Um, but when I asked for them, they're like, oh, how many do you want? One, two, and they had a whole big bag full of them. And I was like, yeah, just one for now, thanks. So um, this is what it looks like here. It's actually based on vacuum fluorescent display technology. Same sort of thing that's in your uh, VCR or the display in your VCR or your, your microwave, assuming it's not LCD. But um, yeah, it's a VFD tube because you can actually use VFD tubes as valves. Same with Nixie tubes and that sort of thing because I have the a lot of the common elements, they're obviously not optimized for that use, but they can be used. Bit of a hack sort of point of interest sort of thing. But um, this one here is using the VFD technology and it's actually designed internally to act as a, um, as a triode valve. So I'll zoom in and we'll have a closer look at this thing. So here we are, nice and close. You can see the typical VFD construction, square and flat, pins coming out the side, the kind of you know, usual things you see. You can see the getter here. The, the stuff they use there, they use it like an induction uh, process to uh, flash that once they've uh, evacuated the, the glass chamber and that just absorbs any leftover gases or contamination to make it yeah, nice and perfectly vacuum sealed inside. So you can see these two squares, this one here and this one here. These are actually phosphor, they glow green. There's no functional purpose, it just glows green. I guess you know, it's a VFD and VFDs are traditionally green and valves have a glow so they went well oh, this valve's going to glow green rather than the traditional orange of you know the old school tubes there, that's actually the anode the um those squares in the middle there left and right if you're going to use it as a stereo amplifier oh stereo yeah, amplifier for your headphones or whatever um and then the outer square is the grid you might better just see at the pattern of the grid in there um is Kind of hard to see for me on the screen, the tiny screen here, but in HD you might be able to see that. And then you can see the two lines over the top, one here and one here. That's the two uh, filaments, and it's got a central bonding point here. So it's a pretty simple thing. Looks pretty nice, and um, I'm definitely going to be making myself a headphone amp. But I'll talk about the, uh, the specifications now. So I'll zoom back out and I'll put the data sheets in front of the camera. So here's a data sheet. If you want a copy of this, I'll give you a link to the uh, the website. You've got to put in your email and make you know, like an application sort of thing. But they just email you a um, an app, a link to download it. They're, Korg isn't a uh, dodgy company, so eh, I didn't have much problem with doing that. The most interesting thing about this uh, this new tube is the operating voltages. You see, the filament voltage is a typical of 0.7 volts, and uh, We've got the anode voltage is between 5 and 80 volts, and the grid voltage is up to 5 volts. This is a low power device. It doesn't need hundreds of volts like traditional tubes. This is awesome, awesome for portable devices and uh, headphone amps and that sort of thing. You can run this thing off a 9 volt battery with a few regulators. It's really, really good. I like that. It's going to make designing things a lot safer, a lot, lot easier for novices to get into um, tube amplifiers, valve amplifiers, when they don't have to worry about working with mains and above voltages. I'm building a um, uh, valve amplifier, uh, a full stereo thing, and it's a bit of a behemoth, but it, it's running on 400 volts, which can be very dangerous if you're not sure what you're doing. But this, this is battery voltages. It's, it's really good. So um, we've got uh, operating temperatures from negative 40 to plus 85, so it's got a nice wide Operating voltages, um, insulation vo resistance, 20 mega ohm, pretty good. All standard sort of stuff. We come down to about here. 
and you can see there's some uh, example circuits for the testing and that sort of thing. Voltage amplification, typical 5.0, uh, bias voltage 2.5 volts, filament current 17 milliamps. So that's that's nice for our battery operated devices too. It's got a pretty small operating voltage, uh, operating current. So there we are, the Korg Noritake New Tube. Pretty cool little device. Look how thin that is. Nice designs on the back. So yeah, it looks like what they've done is they've done what they did with the CRTs, going to uh, flat panel displays. Now we've got flat panel vacuum tubes. Be exciting to see what they do with uh, future designs. I'm hoping these are popular enough that they start making some different variations and different types of tubes in the same package. That'll be really interesting to see what um, what we can get. But stay tuned. I will be making a uh, headphone app and I'll be using this. So we'll be uh, running through the whole build process. I don't have a definite time frame, but it will be relatively soon sometime. But until then, stay tuned and we'll see you next time.